customer satisfaction. IETF 16949 requirement, 9.1.2.1, and many CSRs, including red supplier status and risk-based additional days. This is the top 10 IETF 16949 CB major nonconformance. Compliance. This requirement is all about meeting customer expectations for product quality and product delivery. Tracking the organization's performance is usually done utilizing customer data such as scorecards, complaints, warranty data and information, and organizational data such as PPMs, cost of poor quality, on-time delivery, etc. Every customer CSR includes specific expectations and monitoring requirements for customer satisfaction, including the use of customer portals and methods. Customer satisfaction performance is the driving cornerstone of any quality management system and a critical input and analysis of the management review. Best practices. Number one, organizational development and KPIs based upon customer satisfaction being the primary driver of process monitoring and measurements. Number two, inputs from the customer, such as scorecards, complaint, and warranty issues, are carefully analyzed and improvements are put in place to prevent customer issues from recurring. Number three, organizations are aware and using the customer portals for reviewing data and communicating actions for the issues. Number four, Recurring problems or issues require intense analysis to determine the cause of why did this recur. CB hot buttons. Number one, the biggest is recurring customer complaints. Number two, not assessing scorecards from the customer portals. Number three, not updating APQP documents and organizational processes with actions from customer complaints. Number four, not focusing on customer satisfaction trends during management review. Number five, top management not aware of significant customer issues. Number six, KPI with negative trends that do not have defined actions for improvements, especially customer satisfaction KPIs. What I've seen is a CB auditor, the good. An assembler, number one, drove their business decisions based upon all the customer satisfaction data that was received. Number two, scorecards, complaints, and internal protect the customer data was used in KPI analysis and decision making. Number three, any customer issue was discussed with a cross-functional team led by top management. Number four, the team would work on identifying cause and ensuring systemic actions to prevent the cause from recurring. Number five, the organization used FMEAs as a driver to analyze actions and determine what actions would result in the biggest impact. Number six, prevention was then applied to other processes to address risk. The bad. Customer satisfaction was important, but not a major driver in the business decisions. Number one, top management involvement began and stopped at the annual management review. Number two, scorecards and customer complaints were the responsibility of the quality department, whose main objective was to put a fix in place and move on. Number three, actions taken were rarely systemic and did not consider impact to other processes. Major nonconformities were identified. The ugly. Number one, customer scorecards had many red items in quality and delivery, although top management and most of the process owners did not seem to have much of a concern. Number two, when asked, the management would always blame the customer for their order drop-ins, difficult quality expectations, or not making enough revenue on the part to warrant any corrective action. Number three, customer satisfaction seemed to have no importance to the organization, and top management did not drive the culture to change. Many major nonconformities were identified.